What's it do? <clears throat> <coughs> oh god. <laughs> Dandelions burn behind me. Whip! It's a non stop recording session. I know it's gonna be good for health. I don't think it is, but fuck it. <laughs> <sighs> Hasn't been a minute yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you need to watch your step. Train's leaving the station! Boop, boop. Ooh, interesting. Dark game. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are, all are gone. God damn it, that bl bl the blue haired bastard. Anyway, no need for concern. I know my route. I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather would delay us. Onward we roll! Take care not to come uncoupled from me. That's a train pun. <laughs> Jokey chug. I recall faintly, I had a partner once. A precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stuff. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you. But given por the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Please do not lean against the doors. <laughs> or is that the train st <laughs> I'm starting to recall a man who looked at me. Stop. Morning. The words I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. What a cruel joke fate has played on me. On us, really. Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to tra pass through here. No, let it, let it be a challenge. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure! All aboard! <laughs> if you follow the track marked by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Next stop, the exit! Or do it! If you would like food, please proceed to the dining cart in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are on us. <laughs> Don't worry about everything else. I miss conducting a train. I remember my brother and I did it fondly. <laughs> Professor Lavington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. In the dude talks like this. Oh yes, I am Professor Lavington. I speak calmly about everything. Even that guy. I am extremely upset. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was standing here in bafflement when the Pro Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is eventually, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose, this is here. Nah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. <laughs> kind of sad though that one day I just kind of ended up here for no reason, with no purpose at all, just to suffer. To be torn away from my heart and home. That's it fucking sucks, man. Yaw, fish, yaw! <laughs> ah. What a beautiful land. Suki!
What's the big idea of putting back all the torches? I spent ages tying no end. You get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds. Dude, people would have died if you... People... Oh my god. He, he's an idiot. Uh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. I could break you in half very easily. Better yet, I'll chop off your hair. Oh god, no. Our penis is no! Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. <laughs> oh, asses, no! I extinguish those lights for the sake of Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. Yes, that is my excuse. <clears throat> Now you allowed to put my efforts to waste if you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electro, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner, Pokemon. Uh. Well, how will you proceed, Daniel Answer? I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be a fight. Go, Scone Tank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. That's a fart joke. <laughs> it's going to fart all over you with its farty goodness. Boss. There's no way you could beat my level 40 skunk tank. It's level 40, 30 levels lower than your cyber jet. Oh dear god. <laughs> what? Did you win? This is bullshit. <laughs> I call shenanigans. I want to recount. No cheating. Listen here, neither I nor Skuntank in me defeat just, defeat, defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw and, uh, and afford Skuntank time to recover. Uh, obviously, I wasn't going all out because re reasons. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Again, is what my excuse is. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. To stab you in the goddamn ankles. <laughs> Not even in the throat, just in the ankles. And watch you try to crawl away from me as I slowly plunge the knife into your spine. What a lively character. I can't fathom that idiot's brain. <laughs> but let's press on. <laughs> Got past the ancient quarry, oh no! Oh, yeah. Not the ancient quarry. It's ancient. And it's a quarry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the ancient quarry. Hmm. Stones used to build the temple atop the mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor, labor of Pokemon alone. I don't know. The stones that were left behind should serve as cover from the gazes of wild Pokemon. There you are, Ingo. Hanging out with my girlfriend, I see. But she doesn't remember that. <laughs> Bolo, was it? What's the matter, sir? Ah, oh, nothing, nothing. Just wondering how you and... Our, uh, our friendly little cheating bastard here... Is doing. Wanted to ask you about that memory loss of yours. Because you're about to lose your life, too. <laughs> Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? <laughs> and have you also considered that the loss of your life could be caused by me? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame. Or that thing about you killing me. Which obviously isn't going to fucking happen. But then again, I hardly remember a thing. So it's really difficult to say which is certainty. I can't even remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So, you might better... You might do better to pose your questions to Danny Lancey, I think, if it's to do with that rift and your guys' supposed relationship. <laughs> it's not supposed. We're not... Shut up! <laughs> together. Well, I do hope you remember his return, Warden Ingo. At least, you know... Before I kill you... Get the fuck out of my I'm place. Imagine if you died ignorant of your own true feelings. Wouldn't that be a shame? 
How about you then, Dandelion? So you remember what you saw when you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Probably your burning, undying love for me that you don't remember. Maybe I saw something. You're like. <laughs> Interesting. You know, you see, personally, I suspect whatever on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that... Whatever it is on... on the st point is, the thing that's in there is causing the lightning. Zap, zap. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the past, distant past. Kind of weird, isn't it? That's why we already had a name for it as is. A name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? I don't hmm. know. There is no path. Beyond the scope of light, beyond the reach of dark, what could possibly await us? Yet we seek it insatiably. Such is our fate. That's a Dark Souls 2 uh, reference. My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But that begs the question, why has the rift op reopened when it closed so long ago? Maybe I had something to do with it. And why would Dandelancia have fallen through to us? To me. It's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Bolo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm just a mere admirer of roads and a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust the task to, Dan to my dear Dandelion, sir. Until next time. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let's move with speed, but not haste. Oh, bronze off! And bronze off. Ah <coughs> oh, man, I am. Whew, I am slowly dying. Hey, tiny Ursa ring. Or maybe regular size Ursa ring? I don't even know. Oh, I actually should save right now. Bingo. Oh. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes. But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She's so at home on the cliff face, Mo might think she knows some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves. There's no such things in the Sweet, surely. Yet. I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Heastway? If you fell from the sky, you would come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you do the? Would you honor me with a battle, Danny Lancy? Of course. Do it. I'm back. Sorry. All aboard, then, but choke pelf prepare for departure. Oh, Cyber Jeff versus Machoke. Who will win? <laughs> Who will lose? Find out. Legends of Arceus. Legends Arceus, there's no of. Okay, no, not a Gliscor. Tally on the Gliscor! <laughs> it has the plant here! It's a flying fucking rat! First off, it's a fucking flying scorpion. Flying scorpion. 
Oh uh, yeah, with its scorpion tail and its scorpion pincers and its scorpion face. And then the weird ears. No, not the stun spore. No, Cyber Jack! No, not Cyber Jack! <sighs> uh, how much did he. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Gotta grab a new Jeff. Yeah, it's just, it's just seen better days. No, I just want to get another Jeff. Cylinder. Oh my god! I forgot, I forgot how cool it looks! Also a little... I don't know, just weird. That doesn't say. Bravo! Excellent! Your town has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now then, allow me to call Sneezer. Do, do, do. Allow me to introduce you, Dandelancy. The King Claude Sneasler. Would you be so kind to play your flute for her to hear? Hey, Camden. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Pre <laughs> please pr <coughs> proceed up the cliffs <laughs> with Sneasel's aid and quell the lord up top the mountains. I will return to Jubilife Village. Please convey, m convey my well wishes to Warden Mally. By that, I mean punch him square in the hair. Now then, all aboard. I was a train one one time. I was a train one day. Then I was here, alone, desperate to be loved. I'm in a box. Oh, dude, that's cool, man! <laughs> I can see your little eyes. <laughs> Which is funny, because I wear a mask. I know. It's like, oh, shit. A part of your world. What? You go. Yeah. Sub Graveler. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Descend, you fool. Hello, Alpha Gamma. Ow! Run away! Run! Run! Okay, I'll be doing. I'll be doing all the farming and the catching off screen. <laughs> My team is not 
be great for this upcoming fight, but I'll deal with it. <clears throat> Let's do a nice save. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Ah, <coughs> oh, man, I'm dying. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode, the place of your demise. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like galaxy grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. That is the shit I shoveled down my throat to make myself believe. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Th and right now, I will protect my lord if you still wish to defeat me. Blah 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 Oh dear god, quit stopping this. <laughs> Please. Please be nice. Oh, Alright. <clears throat> Apologies everyone. That's smart. No, not hypnosis! Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Hey! Do you know that I had your phone? Sorry, people. Little, little minor interruption there. Maybe I'll cut it. Maybe I won't. I'll never tell. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I lacked a time, yes. I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Oh, could this be why Adamant is always going on about time being the precious in my world, the Diamond Clan, and almost in a truly or never ending fonts of wisdom? Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode? Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I've completely forgotten what Lord El what Electrode likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too? Bad anger? Does it make bombs? Ha ha. <laughs> Belly's really giving me the run around, isn't he? Yeah. Oh no. A person with hair that surpasses mine. Guess it's my fault for not telling you advance what Electro likes, so here's the. Adman! <laughs> what? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little nobody what she needs to fucking- Come on! I want to make this difficult! This way you all forget you're the leader here! Which is exactly why you shouldn't be talking to me like you're above me. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Why do you bother speaking? <laughs> Use your eyes. Haven't you looked at your friends at, like, dude? It's in so much pain trying to control that energy that's bursting out of it. I've seen nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being, all, at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. <laughs> is the lie I will tell myself. <laughs> anyway, it's not like the trials and suffering are going to always cause doom and gloom, except, I mean... When it does. Except when it does, like now. These things exist to help us grow. Yeah, uh, sorry, but I can't write off these things as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. Yeah, kind of sounds like blasphemy, 
But I think, I think we're all kind of on to something here. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the best I can to help up Dan Nilance here. This is bigger than what, te than what team or clan we belong to. Dumbass. Oh, by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> you rock bastard, I'm good, you. You, be it better than me? you betrayed me. Fine, at the end of the day, let none say the great Melee shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you make your precious bombs. Man, fuck you too. <laughs> Reduced to a mere peasant. Here, I made your practically infinite supply. So here, just throw them all at Electro, but don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Hey, only I get to be mean to her. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Nobody's mean to my girlfriend like that. Um, not yours. <laughs> Apparently I'm Volo's girlfriend and I don't remember it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what you were talking about. <laughs> even, though, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. Yeah. I don't like your confidence. You have a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving or you'll be dead in no time. Oh man, look at this guy with the lick dick beta cock. He's got great advice though, this fight's fucking hard. <laughs> oh dear god. Uh -oh. It's a tree. Oh fuck. I have to fight a tree. Not for oh Jesus. My fa oh okay. Oh fuck. Get ready to taste my balls. Oh, <laughs> This is a really angry emoji face. It's a really fucking deadly emoji face. God, I hate this fight so much. I hate that I can't fucking sprint too during these. Shit! So annoying. Fuck. Oh man, what a smackdown. Oh, 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 oh
work of almighty sin on my ass. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's all kicking off. It's happening! Fuck, I'm like, I'm two hits away from death. Oh, man, stop with, stop with the electric balls and the nonsense. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, penises, oh, penises, oh, penises. If you love me, then come on and run away from lightning. Cylinder! No, don't paralyze Cylinder. One shot, one shot, yes. Friend, shit, oh god! Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, everyone move. needs to be your friend, and everyone needs to be. <laughs> no, Dandy Lancey's thing is making friends, but I mean, like, probably, probably ain't the time. <laughs> You have homing electric spears. Oh god, and the blue ones are fast. Oh crap. Oh shit! Oh god. Oh boy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh dex, oh dex, oh dex, oh dex, oh dex, oh dex. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Cylinder! No, 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 not with the thunder waves. That is very rude and unkind. Ah, crap. Hang in there, Cylinder. <laughs> oh my god, all the way down. It's over. God, when I first did this fight, it took me fucking forever. <laughs> Friendship attack! <laughs> and at last I see the light. <laughs> and all is well again. Things still pissed as fuck. <laughs> I'm still very angry. Here's the thing. Bye, son. Rolling, rolling. And I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, for shame, what a calamity. You're still alive. Fuck. <laughs> I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now that almighty sinner's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's so unbearably sad. Oh, God. I've just isn't worth living anymore. So that, so that how you fucking see? Dude, Electro looks really relieved. It's super glad it's not in pain. It wasn't in pain, it was enjoyed every minute. Oh, come on, Adam, and seriously, that's your wishful thinking, nothing more. <laughs> all your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinner grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably have to cut my own hair. My hair. Oh my god, that'd be a fucking me? blessing. <laughs> I arrive right on schedule. What the fuck do you, are you here for? <laughs> <coughs> Only to say I recalled some things after Dandy and Lancey did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. 
And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon. And with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. I miss that world. I miss the life I once had. Though I do not remember it. The cries of victory and the sadness of loss still reign supreme in my heart. If, pe if Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong. Or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Okay, so I really like this. Ingo's dialogue there because all throughout all the Pokemon games, everybody makes a joke of like, it's just, you know, slavery and you're making these animals cockfight each other pretty much. But like, like Ingo here like gives like, gives like the proper reasoning and everything. Yeah. That you, and this is, the, st the stuff he says is the stuff you'll hear in any other Pokemon game, but the fact that he's saying this here in the past, where people are terrified of Pokemon during these ancient times and whatnot, yeah, like makes things a lot uh, clearer and like more justified. It's no wonder why how why Pokemon are so okay with battling and everything like that, because you know after using years. Of being alongside people and whatnot, they learn to cherish one another and everything. It's nice. Th this game's lore has done such wonders. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Dandy Lancer? Yeah, it sure was. It was a nice, wonderful place. I never, I never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant warden melee has realized something <laughs> rather clever. Who the fuck asked you? Do, do you? do you think that we actually care? We it's, don't. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. Okay, well... Uh, well, then, is the correct message to take away from this? In which case, I have no reason to hurt you. I wonder if the almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Now I have a reason to punch you. Please don't, Adaman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adaman, share with me again the wisdom of the almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Anyway, open yours, shut that big mouth, listen well, my friend. I say friend in quotes. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo. Excellent. Please, all of you, do your best to r and run toward the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Dan and Lancy. It truly lies with the next lord. Now, this time, I really will make the complete return tip trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps someone like Dandelancy, with someone like Dandelancy to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report until next time. Oh yeah, something else I noticed I forgot about <clears throat> was um, when you're fighting people in this game that use Pokeballs, it won't say like Pokemon trainer so and so. It'll say like Pokemon like tamer or like Pokemon like wielder, because hmm. trainers weren't like a thing. It's a totally foreign concept. Can we find a way to honor our past while also foraging a better future? 
Maybe that's why Almighty Sinno really wants what Almighty Sinno really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time and created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. God damn it. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Why do you have to ruin this moment? Like, for real, why do you have to ruin everything that happens? Why do I still allow you to be a part of this clan? Because I'm pretty. No. No. No, you're not. Oh, man. Well, I said I was. Well, she lied. <laughs> well, then, I guess your mother's a fucking liar. It's, it's kind of rude. No shit. So are you. You took torches out of a cave where the people could go blind and fight Pokemon they didn't need to. Oh, you quelled Lord Electrode. Splendid job as always, my girl. Talking about my girl. My girl. My girl. That song hasn't been invented yet. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Kamado. He won't be happy to see you though. Oh shit. Uh. Oh god, what does that smell? It's, oh no, it's her. <laughs> and you know what? I've gone to kind of like her. Fuck! God, I'm alone again! Yeah. Like, you, you know, at first I was kind of like, you, but now I'm kind of like, hmm. I could work I, I, I tolerate you, this person, I guess. I want to play fucking I just, I just... I just wanted love. I just wanted love in my life. <laughs> I couldn't even get that. And now we have to end this episode. <laughs> 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 <laughs>